Morning dudes, um, just an update, I'm going to show you the uh, the knob sound by Duke Audio, it's called the NS03G Sub, and it's the subwoofer model obviously being sub, so I sh thought I'd show you what it was like, uh, wire it up and give you a little demo on my new in face subwoofer, giving it a little bit of free air and uh, obviously show you how I was going to wire it up because the information that they give you on eBay for it is terrible. I think it's uh, obviously been translated from Chinese to English and that it doesn't sort of come across very well. So, uh, at the front, you've got your rotary or your knob with a little clicky clicky to let you know that it's on. On the back, it's a 3.5 millimeter headphone input. Now, I had a bit of a play about with it, and it needs two channels of audio going into it for it to work properly. So, if you've got a mono subwoofer output on your amplifier, like myself, you will need an RCA splitter to make it into two channels, and then and asked RCA to 3.5 millimeter converter as well to go into there. And also it says on the website and eBay that it's RCA outputs when it's not, it's binding posts. So obviously you pop your cable in there and wind them down and away you go. Now for the power supply side of it, I've noticed that a lot of uh, laptop power bricks are just what it needs. So it needs, here's my the one from my Asus laptop, or Asus, however you want to say it. And it's 19 volts with 3.42 amps output with the, uh, just there, look, the, the negative side is over the positive side. So if you've got a, a laptop power brick, chances are that it will work fine on that because uh, I think the, the power brick that they sell for it is about as expensive as the, the amplifier itself which was twenty four ninety nine, I believe on eBay with free postage and uh, they actually did a pretty quick job of getting it to me I think I ordered it and it came two or three days later tracked mail some friendly emails from the seller Duke Mole I think it was he was called on on eBay. I think he's a an international seller. But for the cables, I then ordered some Amazon Basics. And don't let the Basics brand put you off because these are surprisingly good cables for the money. I think for the two sets of cables, it cost me thirteen pounds and four pence maybe it's just over 13 pounds so I got the two sets I'll just uh, detach them all right so here is the RCA splitter so that's one male to two female and uh yeah surprisingly good quality cable that one there look Uh, nussels on nice and snug to the other ones right and then from that I got the Amazon basics again RCA to 3.5 millimeter which will then go into the amplifier so it will go bear with me I'll, I'll just hook them together and then you can watch the dog for a second You can see that. Bear with me. Right, so from amplifier end into the RCA splitters, down the cable into the 3.5 millimeter headphone socket. into 
to the back. Right, I've got it all wired up now. That's Buddy the uh, Buddy the old school bulldog, snuggled up with his toy. Let me uh, give you a little run through. So, uh, subwoofer's wired up to four ohms. There. Into the back, uh, as as I talked about a minute ago. I've got the subwoofer sat on the polystyrene so it doesn't block the, the vent pole at the back of the magnet. I've noticed when I gave it a test the other day when I got it that the venting on the back of the subwoofer is quite noisy. All these bits around here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of air moves in and out of all that. So my initial thought was maybe uh, the subwoofer was broken but I'm not sure so I'm going to play that by ear the coils all read out properly with the correct image it all feels nice and stiff there's no coil rub so I'm hoping once it's in a box that I won't hear any of that I tried it in the, the gale box and it didn't seat in the hole properly and it was bleeding air through and I couldn't work out what the noise was for a little bit and I, I got in a flap and thought oh everything's all broken why is everything I buy broken all the time but I think it was uh, just me expecting the worst of everything right so anyway I digress so that's then it, it's all temporary at the moment into the back of my Yamaha amplifier down to the the subwoofer doohickey back there uh, and uh, we've got a bit of youtube section going on youtube within youtube because uh, i'm going to use it for tasting, testing the bass so i haven't turned that on yet so if it blows up when i turn it on i'll know that it's shit Oh, it's all fired up all right. Left, right, channel, and a subwoofer. Uh, and when I did wire it up the other day with just one RCA, I did get the 50 hertz hum coming through. So uh, I think I may need to update my extension lead from 1964 to a, a power surge protector one, which is a bit more recent. But uh, I'm kind of hoping that uh, now that I've updated to fresh cables and stuff, that will get rid of the power hum. Anyway, let's see what happens when I fire it up now. Let's see whether we get it. Right, so we'll get a clicky clicky in a second. There we go. Oh, there's a. G gentle hum coming through there nothing terrible though I mean the gale when I turned that on the hum from it filled the whole living room up it was like having a refrigerator going in the corner so if that's all it does I could possibly live with that but as I say I need to update my extension lead right let's turn that down because we don't want to go full tilt straight away let's get uh, we'll just go the first one as you can see I've uh, listened to all these quite a lot and of course not before an advert Fuck off, advert. I do have neighbours, so I, obviously I can't go too much. But... So that's just the house speakers at the moment. All right, let's give this a little bit of volume then. And there's nothing at all. Oh, no, there is, yeah.
So it is working that reasonably well, I would think with that in a box. That would sound a lot more meaty with a, a bit of airspace behind it. So that is it, full tilt on that. Bear with me. I'll see the base would cut out the second to get down there. Right, let's try it. Uh, bear with me. Search, we'll do a 40 hertz. There we go, there's a 40 hertz test tone. Adjust your volume, done. Let's see if we can get the focus right. So it's moving that fairly well. It does sound nice and clean, actually. Uh, Going to give it a bit more. Just check. I'll just restart that in a second. Right, it's nice. better once I hit restart I bet that it'll play an advert now that I've got it cranked up oh no we haven't got an advert so that's a bit of 40 hertz flex I've got the amp now on minus 43 we'll take it up to 40 So it's moving fairly well. I think we should do it for a bit of 30 hertz. Uh, bear with me. Do, 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 do. Clear. There we go. There's 30 hertz in my search history. 30 hertz test tone. Away we go. Warning, adjust your volume. Yeah, turn it up. Oh, it's going. Of course, the 30 hertz corresponds with the frame rate of the camera, so you can't see that as well. It is fairly shifting. We'll give it. A, oh, I'm running out of time on this video. Uh, I'll cut cut to a fresh one. All right, cut chaser. I only get 10 minute sections on my phone because it's recording in 4K. Uh, so I've now queued up a 25 hertz test tone, so we should be able to see the flex a bit better. Uh, let's give it a go. Warning. Yeah. So that's about two thirds volume on the 
the little knob sound amplifier. It's about three quarters. Yeah, I think with a box behind it, this is going to be pretty damn good. Oh, the dog's telling me that somebody's at the door. It's definitely a dog's life. All right, so sorry about that. That was my dad just popped around for a minute. Uh, so to summarise, yeah, for £25 for free postage, not too bad. I think uh, if you're expecting it to, you know, destroy your house with ultra low frequencies, I think you'll be disappointed. But, you know, I've uh, got a wife and two kids that sleep upstairs, and I don't want subsonic earthquakes, I want a little, just a little bit of depth. And hopefully, excuse the crappy focus, uh, hopefully, uh, they might do that. So, uh, out with the gale. Piece of shit. In uh, comparison to the to the woofers, this is the one that came in the gale box. Look at this beast, look. Woohoo! Hot damn! And then compare that in contrast to the the in phase. You see, it's a bit substantial difference, really. So. It's a piece of crap, really. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, got a bit more information on the the knob sound mono amplifier because uh, all the specs online. And shit, even if you go on their website, there's fuck all there. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.